and I love to plan Disney vacations. All my family and friends know me as a huge Disney nerd, so when they're planning their own Disney vacations, I constantly get asked to help them plan, and they all want to know the big question, which is, how much does a Disney vacation cost? Honestly, there's no easy answer to this. There's no one answer to this, but it's really, it's an important question. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a video series to help answer this question. So I named this video series Disney on a Budget. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take a specific family makeup. So if it's like a family of four, two adults or so on, and then pick a specific budget and then I'm going to explain what their Disney vacation could look like for that amount of money and the important thing is is that I'm not guessing about any of these things I am going in and I'm planning a fake vacation on the Disney World Disneyland Disney Cruise or whatever website and I'm looking at real specific numbers for specific dates to give them a good idea so no guessing here all right, uh, let's get started with our first family. Okay, so our first family is actually based on my sister-in-law's family, and their family has two adults, her and her husband, and their two kids, so they're a family of four. Um, so the two adults, and then they have a daughter who is 12 and a son who is nine, and they really, really are Star Wars obsessed. They really like Star Wars and Galaxy's Edge is going to be opening this year in Disneyland and Disney World and they want to be able to see it. They have been to both Disneyland and Disney World many times but they have never been to Disney World during the holiday season. So in this video I am going to show you how this family of four can see Galaxy's Edge and can see Disney World during the holidays for just $2,000. Yes, you heard me right. I was able to make the numbers work. $2,000. So before I get into the breakdown of the cost, I do kind of want to take a moment to explain that I am not going to include flights. And the reason for that is because I know a lot of people like myself might use miles, might have credit card rewards, some people may drive. There's a lot of variables and the cost of these plane flights might differ widely. So I just want to get you guys to the airport and then that's where we'll start our budget. Alright, so this is $2,000 family of four, um, not including flights. The dates that I chose for them are December 3rd to December 6th, 2019. So that gives them three nights for this vacation. Yeah, it's a little short, but we'll get it done. The reason why I chose these dates is because it, it is after the Thanksgiving season, but it is before the big December 25th Christmas vacation for this. So uh, what I was hoping with these dates is to make the prices a little bit more affordable because if you have been planning a Disney vacation, uh, you may know that Disney has flexible prices depending on the popularity of the dates. And I am also hoping that by kind of cushioning them between these two uh, big holidays that the crowds might be a little bit lower. So that's why I decided on those dates. They are going to stay on property. And the reason why I'm going to have them stay on Disney property is for the free transportation. So if you stay on a Disney World Resort, you will be able to get free transportation from the airport to your resort and back that's called Magical Express. Also you will have different in-park options to be able to get to your hotel to the different Disney Park and Disney Springs destinations. So that is why I just solely looked at the on-site properties for this. And I decided to put them in at the All-Star Sports Hotel. Uh, just as a quick, just a quick note, all three of the All-Star Sports, which is 
uh, I'm sorry, All Star Hotels, which is All Star Sports, Movies, and Music. These were exactly the same price. So if you have a different preference, you could have chosen a different thing for the same price. I chose the sports because the two kids, the 12 year old girl and nine year old boy, are very into sports. They love softball and baseball along with other things. So that would appeal to them. And it is also the first stop in the bus transportation loop. So I was hoping that that would make their stay a little bit easier to get on and off buses quickly without having to wait for another bus to go around. Um, and of course, because it's on property, the free Magical Express, which is the transportation to and from the airport, is included. Um, so that total for three nights for the family of four is $396.13. Doesn't that sound like a pretty good deal? Yeah. Alright, so we have the dates, we have the hotels, let's move on to the tickets. Alright, so the tickets was where the price got a little bit hard because we had the two adults and even though the 12 year old is 12 and still a kid, Disneyland looks at a 12 year old, anyone 10 and older, as having adult ticket prices. So they are actually having three adult ticket prices and one child. Um, and because of that cost, I played around with some different options, but I settled on a two-day, one-park uh, ticket, which ended up being $982.73. So I chose the two-park because I figured with them being Star Wars fan, they would want a full day to be able to explore Galaxy's Edge and then a, another full day at a different park to experience some more of the holiday magic, which they're also really looking forward to. Okay, so now let's get into the nitty gritty of their itinerary. So starting on December 3rd, the first day of their vacation, they are flying in and I am going to guess that they will probably get in in the afternoon, sometime after um, lunchtime. So they will get in, use the Magical, Magical Express for the free transportation, get checked into their room, settled, and then spend the evening walking around and exploring Disney Springs, which is free and um, in the past they've have a lot of like Christmas tree and fun decoration so we'll get them into that holiday spirit uh, to walk around Disney Springs and they will not need to pay for the park entrance and for dinner for them at that night I am going with a favorite of many including mine I'm going to send them to Earl of Sandwich for dinner Earl of Sandwich great food very consistent great sandwiches and it's affordable it's a quick service restaurant so i am budgeting 45 dollars for their evening of dinner and then walking around um that's the third so their fourth is their big exciting park day they're going to get up early and they're going to go to hollywood studios to go see galaxy's edge for the full day um i I am, I am intending on them spending the majority of their time in Galaxy's Edge because that once again was a focus of their vacation and of course they could explore different things there. Um, but for all their meals, which is what I'm budgeting for, I'm budgeting their meals in Galaxy's Edge because I'm sure as most or all Disney fans can agree. The food is a big part of a vacation, right? Gotta try as many of the amazing Disney food options as you can. Um, okay, so for breakfast, oh, I'm sorry, one note. As of this time of recording, there have been no prices released for Galaxy's uh, Edge menu. So what I did is on all of these options that I have for you is I did my best guess based on the type of restaurants and I also added a couple extra dollars. So the average quick service I believe it's like $15 so if they're going to a quick service I made it $18 for an adult. So um, these numbers I did do specific numbers and broke it down per person. But I do want to warn you that this is that this is partially a little bit of a guess for me because that information just isn't out. All right, so back to their itinerary. So breakfast, uh, they're going to have an interesting breakfast for their Hollywood Studios Galaxy's Edge day. What I am going to recommend for this family is that they snack for breakfast 
because there are a lot of great food, cool food options at Galaxy's Edge and they just have one day so they just need to get it in. So uh, Galaxy's Edge is going to have a milk stand with that famous blue milk, blue milk and I believe green milk too and then they're going to have like specialty popcorn and in my opinion popcorn can be pretty filling. So I budgeted for them $35 to get maybe a couple different popcorns, share a blue milk or so and just kind of have a snacky breakfast. For lunch, um, they have what I believe will be a quick service restaurant called Ronto Roasters and they have this interesting uh, hot dog looking thing is my best guess that they have. Um, and so I budgeted $18 per adult and then $10 for the son, the child son and so that would be $64 for them to go to the uh, quick service lunch there. And at the dinner, I am going to have them go to the cantina for dinner and I budgeted $100 for them for the dinner. So that's their Galaxy's Edge day. I tried to get them in to experience as much as they could for that amount of money. All right, December 5th, 2019, that is going to be their Magic Kingdom Day. I really, really struggled with what was the second park that they should do, but I ultimately narrowed it down and I figured they had to go to Magic Kingdom to see how beautiful it would all look all lit up for the holidays. So um, that's what they had to do. Also there's there's some options I think that they would like for food. So speaking of food, I would recommend for them to go to Sleepy Hollow for breakfast. Um, that would be $28 for their family and Sleepy Hollow is a great favorite for many. You could get the fruit and Nutella waffle or even I believe that they have like a ham and cheese waffle that they can do so that should be filling for that family. For lunch I would send them over to Casey's Corners, grab those corn dog nuggets, sit on the hub grass and relax from their day of wild touring. And uh, for dinner they are a big fan of Mexican food and so I would recommend for them to go to Pecos Bills because that they have a lot of very hearty filling options that they could possibly split if they chose to do so. So the Sleepy Hollow I budgeted $28, Casey's Corner $46, and then Pecos Bill $47. Once again, I looked at the menu and that's how I based, uh, I guessed what they would get. Alright, so that is the fifth. So. Now, December 6th, this is their last day before they fly out. Um, and by my guess, by all this traveling and these crazy touring, I would guess that they would be pretty tired. They do not have a park ticket, but what I decided to do for them instead was to send them over to Wilderness Lodge. So I would recommend them to go to Wilderness Lodge, which is a absolutely gorgeous resort so beautiful and even though I, I personally have not experienced it but they have beautiful pictures of it during the Christmas time with the beautiful tree and stuff and so I just thought that that would be a really nice way they could just walk around enjoy it and just enjoy the beauty and relax and then I wanted to give them something fun as a nice little send-off so I recommended for them for breakfast to go to Whispering Canyon Cafe for breakfast, they have a very affordable all-you-care-to-eat breakfast skillet where you have a lot of the common breakfast items but it's all-you-care-to-eat so they could have, I would recommend more of a brunch for them so they could really sit down, talk as a family about what they enjoyed on this trip and then kind of relax. So for, for that, it would be $87 for the family to each have the breakfast skillet then. So that means that the food total for all of for all of the days for the third to the sixth would be four hundred and fifty two dollars for them to get everything that they needed to them. So um, the total for their vacation for the hotel, for the tickets, for the food, transportation free remember, which is a big one, would be $1,830.86. Yay, we did it, right? Under $2,000. Um, and that actually even gives them $169.14 left over. 
Now, one thing that I am very well aware that I am not accounting for is I'm not accounting for any tips, ta uh, taxes, or souvenirs. So I wanted to create that buffer for those situations to be covered. Once again, it's not like the whole family is going to be able to afford like the cool new lightsaber or whatever, but they will be able to experience Galaxy's Edge and the holidays for under $2,000 which I think which I think is an incredible experience so whoo that'd be a really rush tip trip they would be very tired but I think it would be well worth it for them um so I hope that you guys through this video uh can tell or can learn that it is possible to do a trip in 2019 to see Walt Disney World in all its holiday beauty and also to go see the new Galaxy's Edge at an affordable budget um, and just as a reminder um, there is flexibility with Disneyland prices they constantly change prices so if anything that I said um, it it was accurate at the time I looked these are real numbers but things could change so please forgive me if you are watching this at a later time and you're looking it up and I'm like hey Amy I cannot get this hotel for $396 sometimes things change so please forgive me for that one um also there were no discounts at the time when I was doing my research so you could possibly get even better deals or be able to do more things if you go during a time where there is a discount um so this is the first video in this series please I would really like to know what you think about this plan about my recommendations are there anything you would change what would you do? Would you ever consider going on a really uh, inexpensive trip just to see your favorite Star Wars land, holidays, or whatever? Uh, please let me know because I would really love to hear your feedback on this plan that I have for them. And I know it's exhausting, okay? I know it'll be, it's quite a quick trip. Um, so I just want to remind you that this series is a very specific plan to hopefully help people have some real dollars to their Disney dream vacation. I just really want to help you guys out with this. Um, and also there will be a lot of future videos for this series. I will have different locations like Disneyland, Disney Cruise. I will have different family makeups along with different budgets. So maybe instead of $2,000, we'll do $4,000 to see what that. All right, and please don't forget, if you like these videos, we would really love to have you uh, be a subscriber. So please subscribe, like this video, comment with any suggestions, and thank you again for watching. Bye.